So can we put our hands together and welcome up here, Dash. Woo! Thanks, Dash. Um, welcome. Um, how are you enjoying this evening? Yeah, it's been um, interesting and I've enjoyed it. It's, um, it's interesting because this is my uh, first poetry evening that I've actually attended and listened to Poets Live myself. And um, all the styles are so markedly different. It's, I don't even think one of the performers could have performed somebody else's work because I don't yeah. think it would make much sense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you. Um, I'm going to do my first poem from the Lyrically Justified book and the second one I will be doing um, is more recently written. It's um, obviously Brexit Day, I think coincidentally my poem sums up how we may be feeling in not very long and it's called Fear of Regret. <laughs> I stand and think thoughts of yesteryear, laughter I have yet to hear, my present peers and suddenly is tainted by regrets and fears, specifically the fear of regret. Will I be pondering for years in my head, what if I would have strayed from the straight and narrow, veered to the left when the ways were shallow, and instead I resent myself till I can barely face my shadow. The fear of regret, will I regret fear? That's circular, how did I get here? I'm trapped in a blurred moment, but my head's clear. It's just my heart's not. Fear and regret have my heart locked. Live together grow together, die together. I remind myself I will not be in this place of my life forever. Mm. And this second poem is um, more directly related to Brexit Day, I would say. Um, the political climate is caused online for anyone who participates in any type of online discussion. It's been... Um, essentially sectarian warfare you know it's people's at each other's throats there is no middle ground and um for me viewing this it's almost like an outsider looking in and thinking you either make a point and you have a point or you don't and when people are having these discussions it's gotten to a point where i don't always understand what the object of the discussion is mm -hmm. so this um was written to reflect that and it's called equally right I'm mixed race, they used to say I'm black, and I used to hate that fact, actually. It isn't that I didn't live an experience of being black, you see, I'm autistic, so I have a penchant for accuracy, and I exist outside of culture. And through this lens I see in society, the same haphazard patterns, schemes, and fallacies arise naturally, be it Brexit, class, or race. Despite any previous positive traits, people have displayed the hate, saturate senses, till you see and feel with a nasty taste. Trolling competitions masquerade as debates. What can we expect our leaders act the same when they have the stage? Yeah. Maturity is laughed away. Ambiguity in a protracted way means discourse of discourse could enter a senseless loop that could last for days. Disingenuous mental games, our minds are already made up, the discussion is just to entertain. Passionate debate just to vent the rage, tweets to release the pent up pain. But if my perspective remains the same, why should I expect yours to enter change? Mm -hmm. And that's not an easy problem to get around. Because when we're both stubbornly right, we both see the converse danger in the middle ground. It's equal and opposite, with our empathy taming you. With all integrity remaining true, you'll end up hating me as much as I'll end up hating you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Stash.